Luca, um, a couple of subscribers have asked me um, how is the best way to go about bulking? Like, is it really important to get perfect macros or should you just eat any, any old thing to make sure you get enough calories? What is your response to that? Good morning and welcome to another full day of eating. And it's the morning, I've not had breakfast yet, but it is almost 10 o'clock. What the hell, I hear you ask. Well, quite simply, it's the first day of half term, baby. Woo, which means that I now have 10 days off. What a result. Um, Sears is loving life, I'm loving life. But Luca is honestly a whole new level of excitement right now. <music> Anyway, um, so it is the morning. Like I said, I do need to have breakfast because we've got some stuff going on today. This is what I'm gonna have. Now, this is a new discovery from Aldi's. Um, it's another one of their kind of copies. Now, when I was younger, I used to have a cereal called Start. I think it was called Start, right? And it's like these little kind of crunchy, hard things. And um, I didn't know at the time, but they're full of protein, which is probably why I'm such a monster now. Um, but yeah, they're really, really good. I will give you a cereal pouring demonstration because I'm pretty good when it comes to pouring cereal just do that in the bowl no biggie um, they're like a, I don't know, they're just like little kind of they're a little bit like um what they're called you know those little honey, uh, crunchy honey ball things I can't what they're called damn it nuggets golden nuggets they're a bit like golden nuggets but a bit like less exciting but the macros for cereal I mean there's still a reasonable amount of sugar in there to be fair but if you look at the protein, 100 grams, 20 grams of protein. Now, this, uh, I'll track it, I'll, what do you call it, weigh it in a minute, but I normally get like 150 grams. So you're looking at like 30 grams of protein in my cereal. And then you include the milk, and that makes it like 4,000 grams. Um, I'm also gonna have a banana, which I'm gonna eat with the skin on. Psych, that'd be disgusting. Um, I've got a um, little bit of glucosamine, with a bit of chondritin, I think, uh, alpha male, and then omega, I always forget, they're omega 369 or fish oil, some kind of like fish oily based thing, like, I don't know, haddock oil, or like mackerel juice, I don't know, something like that, so I'm gonna have all of this crap, um, like I said, these things are really good, um, definitely recommend them, because if you are bulking as I am, and uh, obviously when you try and get loads of calories in, getting loads of protein is hard, because, Protein based things tend to be low in calories, so that kind of cereal is ideal. Anyway, um, I will eat that, then I'll go and grab Luca, who's asleep upstairs right now, uh, and then we'll see what is going on for the rest of the day. All right, so I have my cereal, my banana, I'm now drinking this. It is um, a little, little semi skim milk, like three or four hundred ml with 30 grams of chocolate mint whey, using semi skim milk only because. Do you mind, Luca? Only because I've run out of whole milk because I didn't buy enough. Well, I did buy enough. Um, I brought enough to drink protein with, but I forgot that um, Sarah's likes taking long whole milk bath, so she'll fill the whole bath up with whole milk um, and be in there for a good two, three hours, so I didn't factor that into my milk shopping. Anyway, um, before I get on to what I'm doing today, let's say good morning to this man. Hello, Luca. A little slick side parting there. Luca, how you doing today, mate? You all right? Your own cool little sleep suit with helicopters and stuff on it. Oh, you excited? You excited? What do you think about this weird crane fly that seems to be stalking us suspiciously? And it's also bizarrely central. He's like right in the middle of that window. How have you done that? Maybe he's like an architect. Um, you all right? Any words of wisdom? Luca, um, a couple of subscribers have asked me um, how is the best way to go about bulking? Like, is it really important to get perfect macros or should you just eat any, any old thing to make sure you get enough calories? What is your response to that? Oh, that is pretty insightful. Um, <clears throat> okay, yeah, so um, I did say this morning, we've got lots of things planned today, 
That was a lie, because I haven't. Um, I'm going to go training shortly. I've got to do loads of stuff, which is the ball. I've got to do, basically, because we have a wedding we're going to do tomorrow. One of um, uh, Serge's friends, or our friend, I guess, but mainly Serge's friend, is getting married, which is what tends to happen at weddings. Um, that means I can't bench press tomorrow, so therefore I'm going to have to combine everything into one big session today. So I'm going to squat, bench press, and deadlift, which is going to suck because it will be long. But to be fair, training's been feeling quite good recently, so it should be all right. Um, and then after that... I don't know, but we've got the day off work, so hopefully we'll do some fun, crazy, exciting things. We might go outside and just stroke that crane fly for a bit, just be like, hi crane fly, let's stroke him. Um, or we may not, I can't guarantee either way. That was long, Jesus, like, I feel like it's a new day now. That was so long, but actually, surprisingly good. Like, um, like I, said, I did have to compress stuff, so I ended up doing squats, bench press, and deadlift, so it took a while, but all of them felt good. RPEs were nice and low. Um, yeah, so very successful. Did a little bit of uh, hamstrings and quads afterwards, but didn't bother filming it because I'm trying to keep you guys on your toes, you know? Um, right. I've got some food in the car because after I filmed, damn it, after I filmed last, oh good, it's not opening, after I filmed last, um, I ended up hanging out with Luca for ages because he was being like super cute, like he has normally like an hour or so a day, maybe two hours where he's like just awake and super happy, so I didn't want to miss out on that, you know, so I well, was just basically sitting downstairs, just making weird faces and noise at him for about an hour, then he started crying and I was like, See you later guys, and then hit the gym. So um, anyway, long story short, because of that, I haven't eaten, and it's quite late now, so I need to get home and get lunch, but to keep me going in the meantime, I've got one of these. I've said it a few times in the past. I'm not a big fan of protein bars, etc. but any kind of protein-based like food doesn't, take, doesn't tend to be very nice in my opinion, but these are really, really good. I'm not gonna try and show the macros because it won't focus, but there's like 25 grams of, no, 20 grams of protein in one of them. 330 calories, so really good calories if you're trying to bulk. They're pretty easy to eat for a protein based thing. And they're honestly, the main thing is they're honestly quite nice. Like I said, protein bars in my experience tend to suck. People will be like, oh, this is such a nice protein bar. And I, it just tastes like cardboard. Yeah, but this actually does taste like quite a nice flapjack. So definitely recommend it. Use my link, of course, in the description below. Go on my protein, buy something, use my link. Otherwise, I will fire Luca out of a cannon into your face. So then I've also got um, in stark contrast to the um, highly uh, highly refined protein based flapjack, a crappy Nutrigrain cereal bar thingy, apple flavor from Aldi's. I've just noticed the camera's getting really misty. Oh my God. Open the door, try and get some air in here. Um, and then finally, I've got uh, 25 grams or so of chocolate mint whey, which I'll have with some water and I'll see you at home. Right, I'm back home and no one is here, which is weird because our friend was meant to have come around with her small child, unless of course they're playing some kind of prank on me. Says, says, no. 
They're not actually here. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, our friends come around. Uh, I think, I mean, be realistic, they've probably gone out for a walk or something. But yeah, our friend has come around with her baby. That's kind of what you do when you have a baby. You hang out with people that have other babies and just do baby stuff. You know, like look at like nappies and like uh, cots and stuff and like make weird noises and watch weird. Some, I mean, we're not really at the stage yet of watching like, you know, like baby kind of TV, but some of those programs are freaking weird. I'm telling you, like, people that make those things have uh, deep lying issues because some of them are very, very disturbing. Anyway, I'm very, very hungry. It is like almost three o'clock. What the hell? So I need to make some lunch. So I'll do that and then I will show you what I've made when I've made it. Okay, here is the lineup for today's lunch. We have some eggs, some part baked bread, some monster claws, and some ketchup. Uh, let's go. Apologies for the terrible preparation scene. Trying to make egg sandwich with one hand is tough. Um, so we've got two uh, part baked rolls, four eggs, quite a lot of ketchup, probably too much to be fair. And then we've got some pickled onion monster claws and some roast beef monster claws and then some apple squash, which in my opinion, IMO is the best squash available in all these today. Now, as I've been making it with one hand, I might as well try and eat it with one hand. This is going to make a mess. My egg to bread ratio is so far off here, it's untrue. That's a good sandwich. So, I'm going to eat all this. Estimated, I think it's around maybe 1300 calories, so not too shabby for a lunch. And then uh, at some point, I'll probably think about some kind of a dessert. So, by the time I finish lunch, um, kind of lost track of time and it turned out it was actually fairly late um, and we're coming or we are at uh, Serge's mum's for dinner because she very unkindly invited us up here and I thought rather than like uh, eat dessert and then not be hungry I'd leave it and be hungry for dinner because like the gap between me finishing my lunch and the dinner we're going to have this evening is probably only going to be about two and a half hours so even by my standards that's a small window anyway we're gonna go in and see what is going on. Okay, we're here and the food is being prepared as we speak. So we've got some sweet potato, kind of fry type things like wedges then. <clears throat> in here, got some regular potatoes that are like, and how would you describe that? Like um, slices, fritters, potato fritters. Yeah. Sauteed, sauteed. Uh, this is dessert. I just thought I'd show it because it looks freaking sweet. Uh, we've got a variety of meats. We've got some steaks and then uh, I think some burgers as well. And it is ready. And have a freaking look at these bad boys. Nothing better than a couple of big juicy buns. Isn't that right, Sarah? She said yes. Uh, so we've got cheese that's melted on the burger plus additional cheese. Same over there. And we've got a mixture of sweet potato, like fries, and then regular uh, potato. I mean, that looks pretty bloody incredible. It's going to be a lot of calories as well. Two big old burgers in there. Um, I don't know, estimation, I don't know, but that's going to be a lot. Uh, let's add some ketchup. One-handed, this is risky. But I like to live on the edge. A little bit like um, the main character from... Damn it! From, um, I can't remember the name of the film, but the film with the stuntman in. Or, Sylvester Stone in Cliffhanger. I mean, what I'm doing here is pretty much exactly the same as what Sylvester Stone does when, he, you know, when he's like hanging on the cliff right at the beginning. Uh, equally perilous. Plus, I'm wearing a white t-shirt, so any kind of spray from here, I'm in trouble. That'll do temporarily. So, <clears throat> let's go for a live... Right. Oh my god, I definitely underestimated the um <coughs> both the mass and the caloric content of those burgers because 
they were fairly hard to eat, but I got it done. Um, <clears throat> cheese and all, and then all the potatoes and stuff, ketchup. I actually went back and got some more potatoes, so no biggie. Um, now we've come back home, and I know what you're thinking. What about the dessert? Don't worry, guys. I will never do that to you. Here it is. It looks a bit crap to be fair because this has been like cling filmed and transported in the car. Uh, basically, Luca fell asleep, and we thought like. Um, Particularly for Sears, like it is, really, it is really bad. But at this point, when when you have a baby of this age, like when they're asleep at night, you kind of think we could definitely be asleep now. So we figured we come back. Sears got to bed. I'm gonna finish this video. Uh, then what? We've got a little routine whereby about this time he'll go to bed. Sears will go to bed. I'll uh, give him like a bottle feed, like of express milk, a little bit later on, and then I'll bring him up. And then that means that Sears gets like a big chunk of uninterrupted sleep now because obviously during the night when he's waking up and she's feeding, sleep is not great. Anyway, let's stop talking about babies and feeding and stuff. Let's talk about this bad boy. This is um, this is chocolate orange cheesecake, and although it doesn't look great there, I can assure you it is bloody spectacular. So, let's have a go. Oh my god, this is like disintegrating, and my bowl is moving. I'm going to change hands here. I'll plan this out very well. It was awesome. Tastes like tastes like Terry's chocolate orange on a cheesecake. That's good. I should have brought a bigger, a bigger bit back. Damn it, never mind. Anyway, um, calorie wise, I've done a lot. Even though I haven't eaten that frequently today, when I have eaten, I've eaten a lot. Those burgers would have been a lot of calories. That cheesecake is definitely a good amount of calories as well. When I finish this, I will delve into this little pervy. Supplement cupboard, and I will have some chocolate mint whey with some creatine, and I'll stick some coconut oil uh, in, and then I'll have some semi skimmed milk, uh, mix it up, and I will drink it. Which actually reminds me, I didn't have coconut oil this morning. And what I'm doing, rather than having coconut oil twice a day, every day, having it like once, I'm either having it in the morning or the evening just because. I mean, it is such easy calories, but I'm still not, even though I've done research and it seems to be okay, I'm still not 100% convinced that I should be consuming that much saturated fat. And more importantly than that, is that I think when I eat it in that quantity, it kind of kills my gag reflex. And I think that when I eat fat during the day, like in a meal or whatever, so those burgers earlier on, for example, it makes it really hard to eat because my body's like thinking, you've had enough saturated fat, stop eating this, you know? So if I have a little bit less of that, it makes it easier for me to eat throughout the day and it's more enjoyable. I mean, ultimately, although I am bulking, I don't want to be like dreading food, you know? So the easier it is for me to eat stuff, the better. Anyway, I'm going to eat this, have protein, go to bed. And that, my friends, is the end of my video. So I sincerely hope you've enjoyed it, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow.